Find your hand? Yeah. Traffic alert. 300 feet above. Bit of a spin round. Clear on that wing. So it's a little bit bumpy on the ground. Yeah. Uh, there's no suspension on these, uh, so, you know, gliders as yeah, same. Yeah. Traffic danger 200 feet above. So we've got a, uh, a very modern aeroplane. It was bought uh, just before COVID last year. And uh, as you can see, it's only done 136, nearly 137 hours on yeah. the airframe. Uh, so it's relatively new. And uh, uh, it's all hybrid instrumentation. So we've got uh, glass panel uh, instruments, digital readouts. And uh, and then with the, the moving map tablet down uh, on the far right, uh, we've also got traffic avoidance which will pop up and uh, the audible uh, warning that we've heard as well. Yeah. How much do these cost then? This is a hundred thousand quids worth of aeroplane. Yeah, it's not a, not a cheap toy, uh, but you'll see uh, just how good it is when we, when we get, get up there. So, before we go flying we always run the engine up, make sure everything's working as it should be. So I'm just going to bring the RPM up to 4000. We'll give you radio, good afternoon, good and then turn one side of the ignition system on. We get a slight drop in performance. Turn them down, save me shouting. Uh, slight drop in performance, but no red flags uh, yeah. coming up there. Bring it back online. We get the power back, and still no reds on that. Right side, slight drop, and no red flags. So bring it back online. Everything's still good, and we'll bring it to idle. And it idles absolutely fine. So we're going to go one stage of flaps for takeoff. Mind your elbow, thank you. Pull and free. Hatches is locked. And we'll roll out. Cough Mike Hotel is ready for departure. Backtracking 03. Cough Mike Hello, welcome radio. This is Golf Mike Yankee. Fuck November, requesting radio check and airfield details. Up in November, we can be your availability five active runway 03, QFC of 1024, one aircraft backtrack in the active departure. Active runway 03, QFC 1024, one aircraft So how long ago is it since you flew in a glider? Yeah, I would have been about 14 years old and I'm 19 now, going on 20. Oh, uh, okay, so a while ago then. Yeah, <laughs> a long time ago, yeah. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I loved it, yeah. Good. Was it in the cadets? No, it was... Uh, no? Uh, just bumped by, by myself. Ah, okay. It was out of there. Mum told me I can either do piano lessons or gliding. Well, it was no brainer then, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> what the boys really want to do? Yeah. Uh, throw themselves around the sky a bit. Yes, please. Or sit sit in front of Ivory Keys. You know what I'd choose? Yeah. Uh, let's go. Uh, a little bit of rudder. Oh, if I can tell, ref departure rolling 03. Uh, it's going to be a little bit bumpy low level, yeah. but we'll uh, get airborne and get nice and high. Full power set, we'll be airborne quite quickly. There she goes. Speed is building. Power back. And because we're airborne now, positive rate, flaps can go away. And then we're going to come out to the left nice and slowly. So what we're trying to do low level uh, is avoid uh, any houses or, or villages. Yeah. Uh, so quite a, a quick turnout uh, as we climb up, uh, but we just try and get out of the way. Uh, we don't want to fly over. That's just telling us there's an aircraft 200 feet below. Uh, which was on the ground when we took off. A little bit bumpy low level, but like I say, be nice and smooth. A little bit higher we get. I'm guessing it must have been uh, a bit turbulent in the, the gliders as well. They're quite light, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it well, was sometimes, yeah. yeah. I went to uh, Salt the Aerodrome. I do, yeah. Yeah, I went there a few times. Brilliant. 
Yeah, there was an aerobatics man I went with a few times to have a bit of fun with him. <laughs> <laughs> Throw you about, about yeah. a bit. This your like um, Saturday job, is it? No, no, I do this six days a week. Wow. Yeah, I play aeroplanes. It's not a real job. Uh, uh, coming up here and playing in uh, in the skies, can't really call it work. Yeah. Uh, but now I do this six days a week. Wow. What time is it normally your first flight then? Uh, no, normally first flight, uh, a weekend will start uh, around about half eight uh, and weekdays are normally nine o'clock. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll be flying through uh, today uh, right through to probably six, seven o'clock tonight. Wow. going to do is bring us up to about two and a half thousand feet. Uh, we've already passed two thousand and we'll level off, try and find a bit of smooth air and get you flying the aeroplane. No problem. Uh, gently bring the nose forward. And the speed to build up, so I'm just waiting for the speed to come up past 80. There we go, and then I can bring the power right back into our cruise power setting and just trim it out so we don't carry on climbing. On our left hand side here we've got RAF Scampton, home of the Red Arrows, you can see the three mile long runway yeah. uh, down there. Right, so, nice and gentle on the controls, whenever you're ready, it's exactly the same as a glider. It's, yeah. It will feel as light on the controls as what you can remember. Uh, pitch uh, is backwards and forwards, so if you want to pitch up, we pull back. If you want to pitch yeah. forward, we push forward. And then left and right is uh, uh, bank, uh, aileron, uh, and then on the, the rudder pedals, that also controls the balance and the, uh, the yaw of the aircraft. We've got no height restrictions uh, out here. Uh, the only thing we don't want to do is go into cloud. So if we if the uh, we do hit a thermal and it starts to climb, doesn't really matter. Yeah. Uh, we, we can accept it. Perfect. Very nice. Exiting cloud. Is you want allowed to fly in cloud? No. Same with this. Uh, it's a, a light sport, fast aeroplane. Uh, so it's day VFR only. Um, I think the, the Civil Aviation Authority are planning on changing the rules. So this, this main, uh, with, with the basic instruments it's got, uh, it won't be able to go into cloud, uh, but it will certainly be able to fly uh, uh, at night VFR yeah. uh, with the kit it's got. Perfect, just ease the power back a little bit. And all we're doing at the minute is we're trying to avoid uh, Scampton down yeah. here which is on our left hand side we'll come up past Hemswell which is just on the nose to the left oh, yeah. and then we'll follow the River Trent we'll kind of bring us around to the left a little bit and follow the River Trent down what is the film? Good afternoon Golf Charlie Lima Microtop as we come over the ridge that's all we've got there here's the power back a tiny bit very nice, well flown. Lima, 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 uh, it's completely different to flying in the UK. Uh, everything is very well uh, regimented out there. You've got to file flight plans for everything you do. And yeah. With this, in the UK, we just jump in. As long as we stay outside of controlled airspace, you can literally do whatever you like. Uh, it's brilliant. It's 
Is it what you remember? Yeah, <laughs> it looks like it, yeah. The only difference is we travel a bit faster uh, in a straight line. Perfect. And then when you're ready, we'll just gently do a, a turn to the left. Hopefully, as we come through the cloud cover a little bit, uh, it should smooth out a tad. Around to the left, or? Yeah, just gently round to the left. And can you see, it's not easy to spot with it being power in the station. shade. See the power station yeah. on the Trent? Roll out about there, and we'll aim for that. Perfect. A little bit back to the right. That's it, perfect. And this road here, you can see running left to right, that's on the top of the ridge. Once we've gone over that, and we're then back into the flatlands towards the river, yeah. uh, it should smooth out ever so slightly. Just because the wind's coming over the top of it uh, and rotoring over it. Yeah. Very nice. So we're doing 85, 86 knots. 88 as it lies. <laughs> so it's bouncing a little bit. Uh, but about 86 knots. We've got a ground speed of 94. Uh, which is around about 105 miles an hour. So uh, we're, we're motoring on quite nicely. The Red Arrows are away uh, in Exeter this weekend, returning back to Lincolnshire this afternoon uh, at, at around about uh, 10 to 5. Uh, so we've, we've got no worries that we're going to meet the, the Reds at this time, which is good. Yeah. How high can this thing go then? Uh, service ceiling of the engine uh, is 15,500 feet. Uh, anything above 8 or 9,000 feet, depending on how he healthy we were, uh, we'd need oxygen from yeah. that point. Uh, we're not pressurised, so we would need an oxygen bottle uh, to take us above that. But yeah, the engine's good for about 15,000. We normally sit anywhere between two and 6,000 feet. Yeah. Depending on, on what we're doing and where we're going. Trip out like this, we try and try and fly around uh, two to three thousand. Uh, just so you can see things at six thousand feet, everything just looks too small and uh, it's uh, it's a bit of a nonsense. You can't you try and point something out to somebody. Really, that doesn't look anything like. <laughs> yeah. uh, stay as low as possible without being thrown around too much. Very nice. Down there on our right hand side is an old uh, US Air Force base at Sturgate. All right. Brilliant. Very nicely flown. And that uh, a town on our right is Gainsborough. So we've come quite a long way, just in uh, a matter of about 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. And what we'll do is we'll just have a quick chat with Doncaster, because we're getting close to their airspace, which is on our right-hand side here, look. Aircraft wing, there you yeah. see, that's Doncaster over there. Doncaster radar, good afternoon, North Charlie Lima, Mike Hotel, basic service. Oh. Call something different, call something. Golf Charlie Lima, Mike Hotel. Charlie Lima Mike Hotel, good afternoon, sir. Pass your details. Uh, yeah, uh, Charlie Lima Mike Hotel is a Pippistrel Alpha Wickerby to Wickerby. Uh, currently level 2500 feet 1024, uh, tracking uh, southbound River Trent to uh, Newark and then return to Wickerby. Request a basic service, please. Golf Mike Hotel, the Squawk 6160, basic service you have. Donk CQNH 1028, report turning at Newark. 6160, Doncaster 
very nicely done. So, daylight today, it's a little bit bumpy. Uh, guaranteed at Dalton, the glide and, and, uh, at Dalton the gliders will be out. Uh, so, as we come down the River Trent, we are going to have to keep our eyes peeled for gliders. I always struggle to remember, uh, not remember, understand the air traffic controller. Uh, that, that chap, he's, he's relatively new at Doncaster, um, and he's got a little bit of an accent, and it, it is sometimes quite difficult to, uh, to understand him. Yeah. Very nicely blown. Perfect. And then whenever you're ready, we'll start following the River Trent uh, down to the south. Perfect. Rolling out somewhere there, that'll be brilliant. Hopefully now the wind's right on the tail, it should be a little bit smoother. Not quartering us now, it's not hitting us on the side of the aircraft. A little bit faster than the glider, isn't it? It is, yeah. <laughs> and the bonus is, uh, even though we've got all the, the characteristics of a glider to look at, uh, we, we actually can get places in, in relatively quick time. We're, uh, we've got a 50 litre fuel tank, which is good for about 500 miles, 450 uh, to be cautious, but you could eke it out to 500 if you're really gentle on the throttle. Yeah. So 500 miles would quite easily uh, get us all the way to uh, the Isle of Wight, uh, Sandown, uh, or into France. Uh, so you could quite qu quickly get to France. I think they just bought one of these at Dalton as well when I, and they, I just left, I think. Yeah, uh, I know they, they were using Eurofoxes for a time, uh, which is a, a, a fabric covered uh, steel tubular frame uh, with a, a really big Rotax engine at the front, similar engine to this, uh, but slightly bigger to be able to tow uh, a glider behind it. I, uh, I, I've only ever, I, I've never been in a glider other than this. Um, I went once to Dalton uh, to inquire, I got my license, I wanted to just give it a go and see if, uh, see what it was like, because uh, I'd never done it, uh, and, and what put me off was the, oh yeah, okay, turn up at this time and you'll be around all day, uh, uh, because I'm used to, to uh, fixed wing aeroplanes with, with an engine, you book a slot, you go, you fly, uh, yeah. I wasn't used to this, go for the whole day, uh, so uh, I never actually went and did it. Yeah, I think I went every Saturday. Did you? All day, yeah. Long days, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. And how much flying did you get out of that? A little bit or not a lot? Probably about 15 minutes total. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So, what you can see here, we've got another aircraft coming uh, towards us. Similar heading. Uh, on the reciprocal heading. Yeah. Uh, and they are 800 feet above us. Uh, and they're climbing. We've got an arrow now pointing up, which tells us they're climbing. Yeah. So they should come past the aircraft above us uh, to the to the left side. But if we stay at two and a half, they'll go go right past us. It's only if they start descending that we need to need to be uh, a little bit cautious of it. It on our right hand side uh, is Dalton. Can't quite see the grass strip. Well, I was still there, That's it, yeah. 
There you go, so that is probably that one showing up on there. Yeah. That is 1,600 feet above us and it should turn away from us. Good eyes. I will just keep an eye on him. The thing is, if you see one, you can guarantee there's probably another five or six we've not seen. Yeah. Uh, they normally fly in packs, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> So Grassthorpe Grange, which is on the, the chart there to the right, is this little grass strip in the middle of a field that oh, we can yeah. see. And then what I want you to do is bring us to the right a little bit, and we'll go right round the, the back side of, of Newark. That's the only thing we are going to have to avoid. Uh, the only thing we will have to avoid uh, is uh, the show at Newark. Uh, Air Museum, uh, which you can see all the cars are parked in at the minute, yeah. down here, uh, and that's where the, the air display was uh, no tamed to be, that we, we checked as we uh, did the brief before we came yeah. out. We're going to come for gliding activity, and as well, Hillstone is active. We'll be coming at Gulf with Gale, thank you. So this road room beneath us is the A1. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, Saturday afternoon flight and I'm not having to do any work. It's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I used to hop on my flight survey all the time. Yeah? Yeah. So what, ma what made you stop gliding then? Uh, was it just getting there or, or other things filled the time? Uh, yeah, most other things filled the time. I uh, wanted to play football a bit more. Yeah. And it was just like, say, the time was it. Going up all day and you, you don't fly a lot. Yeah. So I've always really wanted to get into this, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. At least with powered aeroplanes, uh, we do get somewhere, uh, <laughs> and, and you've not got a, it's like this, we're not a 15 minute flight and back down and you've wasted yeah. 8 or 9 hours of your day. Very nice, so yeah we'll go right round the back end of Newark. Another one of these, it's a bit older, is it? Uh, no, so we've got this and a, a Cessna 152. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So th this is ultra modern, and then you jump into the Cessna, which was built in the 70s, and you've got uh, wood veneer dash and uh, really old fashioned. Yeah. Now, this is what it's all about getting out, you've got a good visibility out on this aeroplane, and uh, and it's fast. I've told you wrong, there's the Air Museum down here. I uh, see all the cars on it and just about make out the runways, yeah. what used to be. And there's the air display popping up now. Just here, look. Oh, see yeah. it? Yeah. But we'll stay outside of that. How long you've had your... Uh, so you've got them. Yeah, so I've been flying uh, for nine years, instructing now for four years, just over. Um, yeah, so... Can't really call it work. No. Uh, uh, very similar to this, uh, I was given a, an experience flight. Uh, I'm originally from Derbyshire. Uh, I travelled all the way down to Gloucester. Gloucester Airport, don't ask me why, uh, but I did. Uh, Jumped in an aeroplane there, uh, had 30 minutes in, a, in an aeroplane, uh, and absolutely loved it. Uh, and the bug was set from there on, and um, I never looked back. Uh, 
what, what I was doing at the time is spending uh, all of my money Friday, Saturday, Sunday going out with mates, uh, drinking and uh, I realised quite quickly that if I stopped doing that uh, or cut it right down I could afford to learn to fly and yeah. that's exactly what I did. I uh, changed my, my habits and uh, and got my licence, uh, like I say, flown all through France and uh, and then did a, a lot of flying in Hungary and uh, and then thought well it's time to, to give it a go as an instructor so I did the rating uh, and four years down the line still doing it, still enjoying it. So. How old are you now then? Uh, 29. Yeah. Is it you start about my age? Then? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Start, started flying at uh, at 19, and uh, I had my experience in 19. Started flying uh, uh, then, and, and took me nine months uh, to to get my PPL. So by the time I was 20, uh, I'd got my PPL. Perfect. So don't uh, Doncaster. It's because he's just said Doncaster. Newark's here, so when you're ready, we'll just gently start coming round. Uh, the outside of it. Brilliant. And rolling out somewhere there. Very nicely flown, you're nice and relaxed on the controls, not having to do anything. The only thing I'm doing is just controlling power just to try and smooth out some of those little bumps that we keep keep getting. Yeah. A lot smoother over here, like you said. Yeah, so speed at the minute is 85 knots and uh, ground speed's a little bit slower now because we're starting to turn back into wind. Uh, so it's taking us about 25 minutes to get here. It will take us probably about 35 minutes to get back uh, towards the airfield because we're going to be flying into wind. Yeah. Hibble, Hibble, Uh, right, uh, try and keep it on the RPM, I'm just trying to keep it anywhere between 4.7 uh, and 4.4 just as uh, the bumps come and just ease back slightly and then start feeding that power back in a little bit but exactly the same as the glider uh, a pitch controls speed so if we, if we wanted to slow down a little bit we need to ease the power back and just lift the, the nose up if we wanted to speed up we'd uh, add a little bit of power and just push the nose forward slightly. Brilliant. And again, now the A1 again underneath us, uh, coming past Newark and going down to the south. And we can even see the visibility today is absolutely fantastic. We can even see Lincoln in the distance out there. Uh, just about make out where the, the land starts to rise up and you can see the sun shining yeah. on the cathedral. It's got two, two uh, spire steeples sticking up. Brilliant, when you're ready we'll come over. Brilliant, and just aiming for the cathedral which we can see shining in the sunshine. That should keep us just outside of that uh, area there that we don't want to be in. What do you think? Amazing. <laughs> not a bad way of spending a Saturday afternoon. Oh, it's not. So you can see now we've turned into wind. We're still doing 85, 86, but our ground speeds dropped to 78, 79, 78. So we've got around about five or six knots on the nose. Yeah. Yeah, I used to want to be a commercial pilot. Right, okay, yeah. And what, what changed that idea? Covid? Uh, it's 
place was the um, the training. I didn't for some reason I just never wanted to go in the cadets or anything. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of money to put down it is on indeed. my family to uh, go for my training. Yeah. So I just never never pursued it. it. No. I can't blame you. Uh, it, it's uh, an obscene amount of money. Uh, starting to change a little bit now, uh, where uh, you can uh, do a university degree and tie it in a little bit. Uh, and I think as time goes on, you'll start to be able to uh, take student loans out towards it, uh, like you, you could for a, a normal, I say normal, degree. Uh, but at the moment, it's around about £150,000 um, of two years hard work, three years hard work, and uh, my, my opinion is, are there really going to be that many jobs out there for newly qualified uh, CPLs? Um, probably not, uh, because there's a lot of uh, uh, experienced CPLs out of work at the moment. But what's your plan now? What do you think you're going to go and do? Uh, if you, if you, so you've, you've dropped the, potentially dropped the idea of commercial pilot. What, what's the, the, the fallback from that? Well, at the minute, I'm just, I'm just scaffolding with my dad at the minute. Nothing wrong with that. Hands on work, it's always money coming in, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I used to work at McDonald's and then uh, my dad come off his motorbike and bust his leg up and stuff like that. So he was off work and did a hand, so... He did a, he yeah. did a lifter and a carrier. Yeah. And yeah. So I come into work and just... I got a better hours, better money in this there ever since. Yeah. I know it's outside uh, and uh, it'll be a bit cold in winter, but... Uh, on a summer's day, there's no, nothing better than being outside, is there? Yeah, it's lovely. I've got a friend who's got an uh, accountancy apprenticeship at the minute, and he yeah. says he, he finds it hard staying inside all day. Yeah. This is like the perfect balance, isn't it? Because you're outside, <laughs> but you're inside. That's it. Weather. I, I know weather's difficult in this country. We do, we do get a lot of bad weather, uh, but most of it we try uh, and, and do on days like this. Uh, that there, certainly in the winter, there's some very quiet, wet, miserable, cold days um, where we're sat in drinking coffee and moaning about the weather, but most of it is, uh, uh, is, is out on days like this. Let's get rid of uh, Doncaster. Golf Mike Hotel is happy to QSY to walk 7000 now. Golf Mike Hotel, uh, Rogers, Golf Security and Free Call on Route, have a nice time. Golf Security and on Route, good day, Golf Mike Hotel. Golf Alpha Lima downwind, 03. Alpha Lima, Roger. Morning to zone, good afternoon, Golf Charlie Lima, Mike Hotel. I don't think they'll be there. It's a Saturday, I can't imagine the RAF working anything after about 3 o'clock on a, on a uh, Friday afternoon. <laughs> now the only thing we've got to avoid is uh, the pink air traffic zone. We can go anywhere in the blue bit, but we've just got to stay slightly outside of that, uh, of that air traffic zone. No idea what's happening down at Winthorpe, but there's a hell of a lot of cars and people down there. The old festival on, I think. Is it? So, tell me, this is Swindeby down here. Yeah. So, is this yeah. with them? Yeah, that's it, yeah. Brilliant. So, I've got it just for a second. Just going to bring us around to the left. Try and not fly over the, the people. Yeah, that's the festival, yeah. Right, now just bring us down a little bit. I've brought the power to idle. I'm just going to slow the aircraft right down so we don't go buzzing past too quickly. And let's see if we can find home. Right, that's fine already. Have you got it? Yeah. <laughs> Good man. Just on that first, first right turn in, first left, another yeah. left, and there's two houses on that corner. Oh yeah, got it. The left one. Just slowing us right down. Yeah, that's my garden. <laughs> we 
were busy chatting, I nearly came flying past it without uh, without <laughs> slowing down for you. Well, this is where the, the glider uh, comes out in this aeroplane. So we, we've gone from doing uh, a, a good good 85, 90 knots in the cruise uh, to slowing us right down now, and we're doing 40, 50 knots. Uh, and we're still flying quite happily. We've lost a little bit of height, but I can stop that by squeezing a tad of power in and we'll sit 45 knots quite happily and if we wanted to speed up again all we do is just let the nose come forward and the speed will quite quickly catch up with us What's about the stall speed in? Uh, stall speed in this I'll show you uh, it's around about uh, get my figures right we, we, full flaps uh, we'd stall at 37 uh, we'll stall probably just over 40 uh, into wind get a little bit of a drop so 38, 37, 36, and there's the stall. You just feel it snatch a tiny bit. And same as a glider in the recovery, we don't use power till we're back into level flight. Because without power, you could see how quick the speed yeah. built back up. And we've lost 100 feet. And there, and then we come back into the cruise. Like that. Right then, your aeroplane again. Fly yeah. back towards the airfield. Perfect. Spotting some traffic off Charlie Lima Magna Tail is level 2100 feet, 1026, uh, coming towards uh, Lincoln City from the south. Let the nose just drop a little bit and we'll keep that, get that speed to build up a tad. There we go. Very nicely done. Might be a little bit bumpy as we come up towards the city. Uh, again, we've got to come back over that ridge yeah. that we dropped down on the other side of uh, Scampton. On our right hand side, we can see the, the E3s parked to the south side of Waddington's runway. Oh, yeah. Uh, they're scattered all over the airfield at the moment, now they're retired. I think the Vulcan gets moved quite a lot there. It does, yeah, it was moved into the E3 pen uh, for restoration or some maintenance to be done on it uh, not so long ago. Uh, I'm not sure if we put it back onto its static stand uh, on the A15 or not yet. Brilliant. So it's just telling us that uh, the danger area 313, which is the Red Arrows training ground, uh, is coming up in front of us. But the system in front of you doesn't know if it's active or not, uh, uh, so it always warns you of it. Brilliant. And then when you're ready, we'll just gently start coming to the right. And we're going to go right past the cathedral which is, should be on the top of the hill. Good roll out there. Perfect. So that down there with all the cars just behind us to the right is Sainsbury's and then as we follow the road up uh, you then come up to the range and TK Maxx next uh, which is the next uh, shopping centre uh, buildings along with a blue wall a bit further up the, the road yeah.
Bad uh, yard. I'd have to go for yard. Is just up there. In is it? Yeah. Which which side? We'll try. We'll go and get it. We'll go and find it. We'll find it. Yeah. Bring us round. He was working today as well. Was he? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect, rolling out there. And what we've got then down on our right is the football ground. Just coming up. Let's see if we can find the uh, find your dad's yard. And it's just that industrial state down there, I think. Is that? Yeah. So yeah, we've got football ground here, you just see the pitch, yeah. and then up the hill is Bomber Command Memorial. See the, the copper uh, oh, yeah, spike yeah. Stick, sticking up, up Canic Hill. Yeah, that's it down there. You got the it? one with all the all the vehicles. Yeah. The one on the left. The big unit, the little unit, and then there's a container. Oh yeah, I've got it. That one there. Oh brilliant. Brilliant. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow uh, the river river with them, put my teeth in, uh, out towards Bardney, uh, yeah. and then we'll come back round towards the airfield. specific side you're meant to be on, is it? Uh, that doesn't really matter. Uh, if we were using uh, a large ground feature like a railway, road, um, or uh, like the River Trent, we'd keep it on the left side, but as we're coming across it, it will come down the left side of the aircraft anyway. Right. Almost impossible, unless it's a perfectly straight line, it's almost impossible to keep it on the left all the time. Yeah. This road running beneath us now is the new Eastern Bypass that took forever to build. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're back into all the bumps now, we're coming back into, into Lincolnshire. Nottinghamshire's never quite as bumpy, don't ask me why. Always go to Newark and it's a little bit smoother. Come back to Lincolnshire and it, yeah, you get the turbulence of the bumps. <laughs> Railway line here runs up past the airfield, up into Market Raisin. So if we were to, if we if we were really stuck and didn't know where the airfield was, we'd follow that and then we'd turn right, and the airfield uh, would be on our right-hand side. But luckily for us, we've got a moving map that tells us where the airfield is. Yeah. It's part of the aircraft, or is it like a third-party thing? Uh, no, it's a third-party thing. So what we've done uh, with this, uh, we had a, an empty space there, so we put that in. Uh, then install uh, the, the traffic uh, avoidance voice that you heard a few times near the airfield yeah. and, uh, and built all that into the, the radio system as well. Yeah, so forgetting that, everything else you see came with the aircraft. Not a bad toy. <laughs> it's a nice way of getting around. So this beneath us on our left hand side is RAF Fiskerton, so it's an old World War II base. Just about make out the old runway, uh, but they've put solar panels to the to the northern east northeastern side of it. Yeah. Uh, but all of the concrete that we still see that's visible uh, is about 75, 76 years old uh, down there. And we can just about make out the runway that we took off on, which is 
just running yeah. away from us now at Wickenby, and we're about uh, six, seven miles away from that, so visibility is really good. This down here uh, in the distance, uh, as we come up to it, is another former RAF base, uh, RAF Bardney. All we'll do is we'll come up towards it, and then we're going to hang the left back towards the airfield. Yeah. So just the power back. Again, we're coming in uh, up into the walls and we get the, the turbulence get thrown all over the place. We're only small, so we're always going to get a little bit of turbulence. Yep. Brilliant. And then just start bringing us round to the left, and the field is on our left-hand side. Perfect. Roll out there for me. Bring the power to idle and we're going to start descending down back towards the ground. Wickham Radio, good afternoon, Golf Charlie, Lima, Makoto, inbound, we're currently four miles to the south, request effort information. Brilliant. Now what we're trying to do... Zero three left hand, one zero two four, Golf, Makoto. So we're trying to aim for about 70, 75 knots, which you've got there. That's brilliant. A nice, smooth, gentle descent back towards the ground. Don't want to be too fast. My stepdad likes uh, skydiving. Oh, he's scary. Scary man. Yeah. Why, would, why would you jump out of an aeroplane that's fully serviceable, that'll land in front of you anyway? I don't fancy it. <laughs> no, it's not for me. I think it must be the, the pilot in me. Uh, I'd much rather sit on it until it lands again. Yeah. Have you ever done it? No. No? no. Would, would you? No. No. <laughs> Even said he'll pay for it for me, but no, I don't fancy it. <laughs> You'd be braver than me. If, if you were to do it, you'd be a lot braver than me. Lovely. Right, I'll let you relax. Thank you very much. I'll bring us back towards the airfield. You've flown extremely well uh, all the way around there. Made my, my job far easier than it needed to be. So we're coming down to a thousand feet. Looking at the field, uh, we can just about make out uh, the runway we want to land on. We're almost parallel in that runway now. Yep. Uh, and we're going to go over the top of the far end of it at a thousand feet and then rejoin the circuit uh, uh, on the downwind leg and then we'll come into land. Have you enjoyed it? I've loved it, yeah. Brilliant. That's what it's all about. Golf Mike Tarly is joining uh, on the dead side for runway 03. Mike Tarly, Roger. Okay, so as we're coming in, that's done. Brakes are off, engine TZPs are green, fuel sufficient, flaps as required, doors are still locked, harness are secure, landing light can go on, and air brakes can go to auto. Brilliant. That's all of our downwind checks complete. So you can see just how big we can be used to be. We're, we're operating on the uh, the northern third of the old airfield, but where the lane splits the, the the airfield, that was shut during the war, 
and then they were able to extend on an east-westly runway that's no longer in use and then the extensions of the two runways that we use. There's a big airfield then. It was massive, yeah. They had two squadrons of Lancasters uh, based here and uh, I think we were the worst uh, affected in losses uh, in the time it was open. Uh, we lost 1,500 personnel uh, during during the war. Uh, simple math, you, we've got uh, eight crew per aircraft, so that's a lot of metal being lost over Europe. Perfect, so keeping us now, slowed us down a little bit to 70 knots, so uh, that just means we join in with all the other circuit traffic uh, about the same sort of speeds, yeah. between 70 and 80. Don't want to be too fast, otherwise you end up overtaking people. And once we've gone past Wickenby Village, which is down here on our left, we can then start our turn onto our downwind leg. How do I start this downwind runway? Is it okay? to idle, going to go one stage of flaps, and now we fly 60 knots, gently bringing us round slowly to the numbers, trying not to upset too many of the neighbours as we fly over their hands. Get many complaints? We don't actually, we're quite lucky. Uh, but we do try, we, we've got no noise abatement uh, restrictions at Wickenby, uh, but we do try our best to, to avoid uh, the neighbours as much as possible. Um, uh, we're one of two airfields in the UK that's got an aerobatic training box, and uh, when they're out playing in their aeroplanes, uh, it does get a little bit noisy, and we do get a few complaints then. So it's going to be a little bit windy. Uh, the wind is coming from the east, which is blowing straight over the top of the trees, and that's why we're going to get a little bit of chop as we come down, but it shouldn't be too bad. I tell final 03. A little bit fast, so I'm just easing the nose up a tad. And now what I've done, air brakes have deployed, we've got a solid red light on there, which tells us they're, they're out. So we know we're going to come down to the ground, so I'm just now controlling the picture with power and maintaining the numbers a constant aspect up up the screen. I'm kind of cutting the corner slightly so we're pointing a little bit more into wind. A little bit of right rudder, get us straight. Down. And then we got back onto Wickenby's amazingly uh, well patched runways. Uh, they've not done bad to say they've been here 75 years just with a few patches and a little bit of tarmac splattered all over it from time to time. Back to our backtrack, 03. Uh, flaps can go away. Landing light off, nav light off, that can go off, kills that one, and that can go off. Back there, I'd like to vacate it. Nice slow taxi back in over the rough grass. And then that can come open. 
Only problem with uh, aeroplanes, same with the gliders, uh, on the ground it's just like a greenhouse. As soon as you, you stop that airflow coming over, yeah. it gets hot really quickly. I can go away now, don't need that. As I got that, I'll be able to scoop. <laughs> You can almost guarantee on a really hot day, uh, you, you'll sit here if you left the if you left the door uh, door shut. Uh, both the, both of us would be dripping with sweat and just awful awful picture to get out. Brilliant. Brings to us about there.